Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here in San Francisco. We are. And we are going to hit up some iconic seafood joints here. Yeah, I'm in the mood for some seafood. Oh, yeah. And we're going to start things off at Swan's or Oyster Depot. Oyster Depot. It is first come, first serve. So we're in line right now. It opens at 1030. Yes. And it is 1115 right now. Yeah. So a little bit of a line midweek. So yes. we're going to jump in line. We are. Little update. It's been about 45 minutes, and we're patiently waiting. Yes, only we are 17 next. Plus 17 seats. Yeah. 17 seats, only bar stools. The the plus size. They are playing Jackson Brown, running on empty. Yeah. Now they're doing fresh sashimi here. They do it completely different. They do it with a little bit of olive oil and capers, and he's cutting it right in front of us. Yeah, it's all the different cuts of sashimi. There it is. Man, that sashimi does look good. It does look good. We didn't man. order it, but no, we'll no, see. No, no, no. Wow, wow. We need to save room for other places. We do. We we'll see of bread and butter, and we got a cup of clam chowder. He, here's one of the owners here at the, at the Swan's Oyster Bar. Right here. He is right here. That's the man. <laughs> I see his picture everywhere, right? We do. Here's the clam chowder. Look at its consistency. It's on the watery side, and that's the style of it. You can definitely see a lot of clams and potatoes. It is hot. See a little, little taste right here. That's a very good clam chowder. Is it? Yeah. Right away, a lot of clams. I taste a lot of clams in it. Nice and chewy clams. Wow. Very hot, very delicious. Oh yeah. This will work. Ready for this French bread. Here we go. Oh, wow. Sourdough bread. Sourdough. Mm -hmm. it needs, I, I think it needs a little dip in that clam chowder. Mm -hmm. Get the fresh side. It's always the best. Oh yeah. There you go. Good, huh? Um, it is lively in here, huh? It is. Yeah, it is. From Washington State and then local tamales bay meal. Sauce, which is plain. So, you have a horseradish here to spice it up. Okay. I'll get a spoon for it. Okay. You got mignonettes, which is rice vinegar, cilantro, red onions, red pepper, and a Thai chili hot sauce. Right? Okay, perfect. Put it here. I'm going to let you maneuver it around. Okay, and thank you. And then you got lemons up there. Perfect. All of those things right here to spice Thank you. Oh wow, what did you get? You got like a half dozen. We got a half dozen of oysters. Ah, oh, different uh, Miyagi's oysters. Oh, Miyagi's? Um, you mean like two local like and the Washington kid? State? Yes. So these are minuet? Uh -huh. It's the cilantro onion base. Do one there. And they have it up here. So it's a communal. But leave it up here. That is some finely grated uh, horseradish. You know, I stay away from that stuff. They have some lemons up here too. They have the cocktail sauce, which I'm going to use the rest of them for the cocktail sauce. But uh, look what else they have, babe. We got some hella good hot sauce right oh, here. Oh, look at that. It's got to be hella good. It has to be. Yeah. Try it out. Alrighty. It's uh, pretty loose already, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my mouth so I can get all of that yummy goodness in there. Okay, here we go. Oh. Those are delicious. Great oyster flavor, that brininess in that oyster. Great chew to the oyster as well. But my, my Louisiana oysters still win though. But we're going to go ahead, try these out, 
I don't think you'll like them, baby. Well, it's okay. They're all yours, man. Yeah, it's not the char grill kind. And the middle sauce is what? And this is just a regular cocktail sauce. Okay. Not spicy at all, but it has a really good taste to it. Oh, this is the combination salad you got with the shrimp and crab. I think these are like Dungeness crab pieces right here. And we got the, uh, the shrimp louis dressing, which is right here. Which is like kind of like a Thousand Island kind of mm -hmm. dressing, right? It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is outrageous. Vast oyster. Oh, yeah. As you can see, uh, the counter space is very, very limited right here, so you're going to have to like uh, make some room. Yeah. This salad looks glorious. Is It's a combination salad. They put the lettuce on the bottom. They have some bay shrimp in here, some big shrimp, and some crab in here. Look at these pieces of crab. And they have these giant pieces of crab in the salad. Plus, they have some little pieces that are spread all throughout the salad. We're going to go ahead, get some of this lettuce get some of this seafood right here a little bit of everything and we're gonna dip it in this Louis sauce the Louis sauce is homemade here we go mm. that homemade Louis sauce just enhances the freshness of this salad this beige shrimp even though these are the really teeny ones great flavor they're sweet try the uh, wow. crab crab yeah that's the uh, I think that's the uh, start of wow. the show right there oh yeah it's succulent it's sweet but served cold succulent and sweet mm. Mm -hmm. when you come to swans get the combination salad Louis sauce on the side we'll fix this later as we're waiting for our last dish, a little bit of history here is this has been here since 1912. And you saw already uh, the owner. He's one of the guys here. I think he's down here somewhere. And the other people work in the back. Yeah. Just really good, nice and nostalgia here. Uh, definitely worth waiting for, at least to try it for one time. Half order of smoked salmon comes on a French bread. Has capers, onions, pepper, and we're going to do a little splash. Yeah, there's lemon. so much salmon, you, you can't see the bread. No. It's, it's under there, though. This looks perfect. And because it's our half order, so we know that we can definitely finish this and still have room some up for some other food that we're going to be trying out today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this looks good. I got my piece. You see my bread in there. I have my capers. We hit it up with a little bit of splash of lemon. Cheers. That salmon, perfectly smoked. Wow, you can taste that smokiness. It feels like they really, they really infuse the smoke into this salmon. It tastes like it has cream cheese, but it doesn't. That's how creamy this salmon is. It's only a piece of a very thin French bread. But when you taste this big, it tastes creamy. Wow, look at I'm looking for interesting. It. Here we go, my turn. The initial taste of that smokiness on that salmon is ridiculous, along with the fresh cracked black pepper. The little diced onions and the uh, what do you call those? The saltiness of the capers. Yes, the perfect saltiness of the capers. Wow, and coupled with that with that French bread right here, the uh, the sourdough French bread. Does it taste creamy to you, or is it just me? No, no, the the actual fish is definitely creamy. I would love to have this on like a bag, like a New York bagel with cream cheese mm -hmm. and fresh tomatoes on there. Wow. I'm going to get shot, but I think this salmon is better than Russian Daughter's salmon. They might put some fighting words, babe. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is. I mean, we've had, I think, Scotia, Nova. Nova Scotia. And we also had one, Nova. I forgot, we had a different variety of salmon over there as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what variety this smoked salmon is, but it is delicious. It, it tastes very creamy. I know that sounds weird for smoked salmon, but it really is. It's, it's perfect. I love it.
They do have a sign that says no credit card, so it's cash only. Wrap up of swan. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. It is delicious. Uh, they are busy, so it's not a place where you can be rushed. They do a lot of to go, and so a lot of people are getting in to go, and yeah. again, it is cash only. Yes, and it is an option, like you said, to go because. The amount of people we had in line in front of us, it didn't look like it was that long, right. but it was about an hour. Right, They're right? Only, again, they only have 17 to 18 bar stools. Right. And um, there's something else too, it's cash only, only 17, 18 bar stools. Uh, everybody is very nice. Oh, our is our server, you. Brian, yes. yeah, he was very helpful. Oh, yes, the type was. of salmon. Oh, we had. Ooh, yes, that salmon was, uh, it was from British Columbia, mm -hmm. King Salmon, yes. and it was, it smoked, uh, it was somewhere local, it was right. smoked by a family, like local, three generations. Three generations, right, yes. of smokers. I know people are going to come at me with my rest and daughter's comment, baby, but you know, if it, when, it, when you have it, and it's true, it's true, it, what can you do? Hey, you know what, it's another reason to go back to rest and daughters, yes. and, and tell, it, it, well, we'll ask those people, give me the best you got. Yes. So that's what, what happens, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we are going to make our way to spot number two. Yes. When you come across a Phil's Coffee, you got to stop by. Yeah, and we need the walk from the, all of that meal. No. So. Yeah, so, so. Uh, one of our favorite coffees is here, so let's yeah. go get it. Okay. There it is, New Manhattan. That's our day. We got our New Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And what they do here at Phil's is they do a different blend of all these coffee beans and then they get hot water they put it in the filter all the coffee beans that are already ground they put it in the filter and then they run water through it mm -hmm. so it's like a fresh cup of coffee every single time yes and we love this one because it has some, like citrus notes and some tropical coconut kind of mm -hmm. right taste mm -hmm. it and then you can put your own sweetness and your own cream in yes it. <sighs> delicious Oh, that tastes really good. Nice and smooth. Have they chased this one? I don't know. My first sip. It's a little hot. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good coffee. It's a good coffee. In our walking travels, uh, yeah. you're, you're standing in the middle of the street, but if you look this way, there's Alcatraz. Yeah, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And right down this block, this is Leavenworth, and green. Uh, it is uh, Lombard Street. It's down there as well. That's the most crooked street, right? Yes. Yeah. We finally made it. That was a good walk. It was definitely a good walk. Oh, yeah. It built up a little bit of appetite again. It did. Again. It did. Mm -hmm. We are here at Soto Mare. Yes. Yes. This is in Little Italy. And they're known for the Chapino, huh, baby? Yes. And in some fact, other stuff. There's a sign that says it's the best damn Chopino. Ooh, we gotta try it out. Yeah, that's what it says. That's yeah. what it says, let's yeah, so. Okay, let's go. For two? We just got that. I believe we're in the area of Little Italy, right, baby? Yes. So, it is beautiful in here. It's the nice blue. They have fish all over the wall. Uh, they have just a really good vibe in here. I like it. This is the middle of the day. This is at like two o'clock. People are coming in and out. They have counter seating and they have table seating. And I believe it's only first come, first serve. Yes, and they so did bring out some bread. Right? They did. Starting out with their cup of clam chowder. I'll put a little bit of pepper on here. A lot thicker consistency, mm -hmm. right? They said they have bacon in here right on the menu. So you know that there is bacon along with the clams, potato, celery. Try this out. It's a big spoon. Yeah, and it's hot. It is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is like the kind of clam chowder that I'm used to because it's a little bit thicker. And I love that little bacon. You can see the bacon. Ooh, there's a bacon right there. I love that infusion of the bacon along with the clams. This is a delicious crab chowder. Yeah. When I taste this, I think of San Francisco. So having it here is extra special. So try this out. See how you like it. 
It has all of this goodness in here. You can see the clams in here. You can see the potato. I got my crusty bread. I always like the heels of the bread because it's perfect with these type of soups. So here we go. Mm -hmm. This is a much more hearty clam chaga. You can taste that bacon, great pieces of clam in there. This bread, it is a French bread, not the sourdough, like we got the other spot. Dip that in there. It really sticks to that bread. Mm -hmm. This is a good clam chowder. I like it both ways. I like it this way and I like it the one at uh, Swan's. They're both delicious. That's major. Oh, wow. Enjoy, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Those are our steamed clams and the chipino. That chipino is like oh, major. Wow. Thank you. What do you think? Wow. That's like a cauldron. It's definitely a cauldron of just like yeah, seafood the goodness of the, right the there. Size of that bowl. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Even on the menu, it says enough for two people. It does. So we're definitely going to share this. I think we should have gotten a bigger table, baby. You think so? Our table is pretty much at max capacity. It is at max capacity. Look at this plethora of seafood in there. Gives you a teeny, teeny little ladle. You can see all of that. The shrimp, the crab, there's mussels in there with that yummy sauce. We, bay shrimp too. Let's go ahead and dip everything on in and we're going to go and serve it up. Oh, you can see the steam on oh, this yeah. one. You can see the clams. They just put it into the bowl. Yeah. yeah. We need a smell of vision because if you guys could smell this right here. You would just be passing out, just smelling it. Yes. Of deliciousness. Yes. Oh, that's a good scoop right there. That's a good scoop. Yep. Let's go ahead and transfer this to my bowl. There's even some noodles in here. Wow. Let's go ahead and get that in my bowl. That definitely is an entire meal. It is. I don't know how we're going to finish it, but we're going to surely try. Let's go ahead and try out this broth right here. Get a little dip here. Perfect temperature. It's very eatable. It's not too hot. Good taste in broth. It tastes really good, like seafood flavor. And the tomato doesn't feel acidic, so it's not really a thick tomato base. I believe that they That's almost really seems like a, uh, mm -hmm. like a soup base, and then they add some tomato puree, yeah. right? In there? It's a very light tasting tomato base, which is really nice. No, no added salt or anything. Very smooth, and it goes perfectly with these noodles. So that's really nice. So don't think it has like a, a pasta dish. It's almost like a, I would think close, more close to a minestrone if you're thinking of the noodles, than it would be to like a, a heavy pasta dish. This is a seafood medley. Just like you said, it's got so many different varieties of seafood in here. And you know, just a little tidbit, the Pachopina was invented here in San Francisco. So they're like the purveyors of the Chopino. So this is where it all started. And this is where I get to taste it. That is, that is very good. It's not acidic at all. It would match perfect if I had some grilled cheese sandwich here, but I know they don't have that in this kind of place. But it is delicious. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun uh, chewing into these little candies over here. We got the steamed clams in a broth. This is a heaping load of really cute little little neck clams. Delicious, thank you. 
we're gonna go ahead. There's a clammy in there. We're gonna get some broth in here. Yep. That is a large amount. Yeah. And I, I couldn't even start to tell you how many yep. clams there are in yeah. this bowl. A little good juice in there. What it really comes out. Other than that great clam flavor is garlic. This one, clam and garlic and broth. How can you go wrong? Not salty. This is absolutely delicious. The clams are not chewy, so you know they're not overcooked. It's all freshly done, as in the video I took. Oh yeah. This is an easy eating one. This one's a bit filling. This one's gonna be easy eating. A little wrap up of sote mare. That was delicious. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're you know we were so full. We, we couldn't were. finish it unfortunately. We tried. Yeah, we 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 gave a gallon effort at it. We did. We did. Yeah, that's that's one of the best chapinos I've had. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that soup was I think the highlight. That seafood. It was tomato soup. It was. I like that. It was a, a more of a brothy side than a thick side. Yeah. So it was very. It tasted very good with the noodles that it was uh, paired with. Yes. Yes. A very good flavor in that broth uh mm -hmm. the seafood really tasted like a shrimp really tasted like a crab uh, it's not the sweetness of it that we're used to when you eat it cold or or warmed up or something like that right. but you can tell all that flavor was mixed into that broth yeah and mm -hmm. i did try some of the steamed clams uh -huh. that was good also yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those so are, yeah everything was delicious yes so you know that kind of wraps up our two seafood places yes uh, they're, they're both iconic, I would say, to San Francisco. Yeah, so we tried to do a third one, but we're full. <laughs> we, we are we done. Do yeah. I'm tapping out, baby. I don't think I could fit even a little bass shrimp. <laughs> I, and I was thinking of even gelato, but I'm full. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, yeah. you know, there's always room for gelato, but I'm so full. We might have to put that on the, on the, on the main video. Yeah, we'll which, see. Which mm -hmm. they already saw, probably. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, no shout outs, because that's no. on the first one yes. right there. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming along on our seafood adventure here in San Francisco. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.